Stone, live from Rolling Acres Mall. What a good show we have planned for you today. Santa, how are you doing over there? Oh, Fred, we're doing just fine. It's lovely to be back on the morning exchange. Santa, I have been very, very good. Well, you know, Fred, that's, uh, I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, we checked your list three times, and you were on the good list all three times. Well, I'm delighted to hear that because... <laughs> Tell what me, I was hoping for was uh, my uh, Christmas gift just a little bit early. I had sort of thought today. Well, uh, what was it that you were looking for this year? Santa, I want a permanent co-host. Permanent yeah. co-host. I, I haven't had one since since last December. <laughs> there you go, Fred. Well, I do. Ah, will you do? Out of a oh box. Oh, my. Have you ever come out of a box in your career? No, I never have. Oh, my. Ah. Connie Deacon. Thank you. Oh. Hello. Let's invite them to every show, shall we? Hi, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> We love this. We want you all to come to every show we do. You're invited back. Follow us back to the studio tomorrow, please. But you've never jumped out of a box never in your have. entire career. Never have. I've seen oh. women jump out of a box before, but... Uh, they talked about a cake first. Yeah, I said, no cake. No, no cake. No cake. No, no. Well, it's been a long time coming. It has, Brad. And it's just a, such a delight to have yeah, you here this morning. It's great to be here with you. You look great, and I look short, don't I? <laughs> well, you should see your husband. Uh, he's about three inches taller than I am. I never realize how mm -hmm. short I am until I see a picture of me standing next to him. You know, I'm every short. place I went for the past few days, mm -hmm. folks were talking about that little commercial. See, we were forbidden by the contract that she had with Channel 3 to show her countenance or, or, or her name on our screen. And, of course, the news was out that we had talked, uh, and it was in the paper and so on, but we couldn't, uh, we couldn't promote the fact you were coming. So uh, something happened, and this is what happened to promote it. Take a look at this. Somebody I know very well is coming to the morning exchange. I've known her all my life. You probably know her, too. Spence, son, who are you talking to? No one, Dad. Anyway, I hope you watch her every morning. Don't worry, she promises to be here when I get home from school. I'm not supposed to tell you her name, but... It's Mommy. Spencer Deacon's Mommy is coming to the Morning Exchange, starting December 1st, only on News Channel 5. That's my boy. That really... Those two kids there are really why you're here now. That's the reason for it. Little Spencer and Allie. Yay, right? Thank you. <laughs> The idea of getting home at midnight every night and... That didn't work. Yeah, I was just, having the wrong just, schedule. This one's great, and yeah. Five's been terrific to let me do this. I thing. see uh, the uh, friend of ours who toils for the plane dealer took good note of this. your arrival. Look at that. It says, Deacon is back this morning. A wonderful, beautiful article by uh, Tom Farron in the PD this morning. I'll have to read that. Yep. I haven't gotten yep. to that today. Been a bit busy this morning getting ready and doing things, so here we are. Yep. Well, I think we should uh, check in with Mark. He's back in Akron. You all remember him? <laughs> Does that look familiar? <laughs> Separated, but now reunited on a different channel. Dick Fegler like we were and twins. Sonny Deacon. <laughs> they were reunited together again. Yeah, we were Separated twins. at birth. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you again. Thank you for coming all the way down here. Uh, nice to see show. you again. You're not in labor again or anything, no. are you? <laughs> when our, last we saw each other, I was seven minutes apart. One I of believe. our most memorable nights was anchoring a newscast when every time we went to a break like we just had, she's sitting there timing her, <laughs> timing her pains, you know. <laughs> Don't worry, Dick. <laughs> Petrified. Would you I have known it. what to do had uh, that little child appeared you there? You boil water <laughs> and flap your arms around and say, I don't know nothing about birth and no babies. That's what you do. <laughs> he kept telling me, well, leave, leave, go to the hospital. Well, Doug arrived. Of course, he was useless. But he did come. Took the onus off me. And he took me to the hospital. That's and right. Had a baby. So That's what the right. heck. Yep. How and that was you? probably the best night we ever had anchoring. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, both of you have, have given up that uh, that field 
Uh, Connie, you could still be there, and you could still be there. How, how come you, I know why you wanted to, to give it up. You wanted to be with your children more. But uh, why did you decide you didn't want to anchor anymore? Well, I suppose this is very dangerous territory to get into, since I think the revenue that comes into our new station is produced in great effect by the news department. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> but I don't like television news much. You know, I don't like, good evening, now we go to the latest fire. Flame, <laughs> take the flame, blood on the sidewalk, you know. And we have, it, 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 Fred... Yeah, I know why Connie's so delighted to do this show, because it's a great show and has been for years. And the pace is so much better. We were, what you don't realize when you're watching a television newscast is, we were whipped along by the format. <laughs> I mean, you're shoved by the format of the show. You know, do this, do that, do that right? Do this, do that. Do it now. Get and over with. Uh, don't talk. Yeah. And they're all, they there's somebody always to talking into your ear, right? right? Always. Exactly. You get used to that. It's very yeah. much like a spouse. Cut this. Truncate that. We're going to go from here to there. <laughs> yeah. Telling you to do things you don't <laughs> want spouse. to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I didn't care for it, and I, I and Connie didn't either, and, uh, and this show is ideal for her, and of course I have a talk show on uh, Sunday morning at 11 on Channel 5, <laughs> uh, and the newspaper column, and I'm a lot happier with those. And you know what, though, we really should say about Dick here? This is a big day for you. You're being inducted tonight into the Press Club Hall of Fame. Yes, Isn't that's that right. Isn't that great? How many votes did you need, Dick? <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's one of those things you get. For, for being around a long time. Time and grade, right? And the, right. The next step after that is taxidermy. <laughs> <You know. laughs>